Did you know that there's a greater risk of your pet developing hypothyroidism on an unbalanced homemade diet than on commercial dry food? Why is this? What exactly causes hypothyroidism in pets? And what can you do to make sure that it doesn't happen to your pet if they're raw fed? The thyroid gland is one of the most important glands in the body and is located in the neck near the trachea. The thyroid gland releases hormones that are responsible for metabolism, reproduction, growth, muscle function, and also influences mental growth and hair growth. The mineral that keeps the thyroid regulated and healthy is the trace mineral iodine. The body is unable to produce this mineral on its own, so it needs to be provided in the diet. When a pet is deficient in iodine, they will experience enlarged thyroid glands, issues during pregnancy, a rough coat, and depression. Among these, the most common symptoms that I see in pets while working as a veterinary assistant are weight gain, hair loss, and lethargy. The diet isn't always to blame in these cases as there are other contributing factors to hypothyroidism, but the diet shouldn't be ruled out, even if it's a so-called balanced commercial diet. So where is the mineral found naturally? Some natural sources of iodine are seaweeds, seawater, saltpeter nitrate deposits, and some soils, depending on the region. According to many human studies, over one-third of the population is actually deficient in iodine. However, wild carnivores receive iodine from their prey's thyroid gland, which supplies them with the iodine that they need. In commercial dry and wet food, the recommended daily allowance of iodine, as stated by AFCO or FeedIFE, is added into the food already. So hypothyroidism as well as hyperthyroidism shouldn't be caused by the diet as long as it's supplied in the right amounts. When it comes to a homemade diet, iodine is a mineral that needs to be added into the meal as we can't always feed a whole prey animal. Raw feeders often use NRC guidelines to balance, as this was what AFCO referenced when developing their own nutrient standards. Standards. Once you've got your pet switched to a raw diet, your next task is to balance it with species-appropriate whole food inclusions. To add iodine into the raw diet, kelp powder is often the natural food source that's used. Iodine is also found in fish and eggs, but in much smaller amounts. In the ocean, seaweeds can accumulate elevated concentrations of metals, so it's best to go with a brand that tests for heavy metals and guarantees that the levels for this are little to none. I always suggest the kelp powder from the brand Now, as they state that every lot of seaweed that they use goes through and passes heavy metal testing. Now has 150 microgram tablets and also a pure powder, which is 450 micrograms per scoop, and the scoop is super tiny. If you're wary of kelp, I suggest potassium iodine drops by the brand Lifeflow. These are 150 micrograms per three drops. The NRC suggests 220 micrograms per 1,000 kilocalories for adult dogs and 330 micrograms per 1,000 kilocalories for adult cats. However, there is a study that indicates the requirement for cats is less than this. In this 12-month study done in 2010, it was determined that the requirement estimate of iodine for adult cats was 0.46 milligrams per kilogram, which is higher than AFCO's RDA and lower than NRC's RDA. The current literature in small animal nutrition suggests that we use this study as a basis for iodine requirements for cats. So what this means is the recommended allowance for cats would be closer to 115 micrograms per 1,000 kilocalories by my rough estimate. Adult dogs can eat up to or over 1,000 kilocalories depending on their weight and breed. However, adult cats will only eat around 200 to 500 kilocalories. So even though you see the dosage as 150 15 micrograms, that's only if the cat eats 1,000 kilocalories, which they won't. This is just a base to calculate your pet's dosage from. Let's use my dog Matsu as an example on how to calculate your pet's iodine requirement. Matsu eats around 690 kilocalories. To find out his iodine requirement, I first need to take his caloric intake and divide it by 1,000. Then I need to take this number and multiply it by 220. This means his average daily intake should be around 152 micrograms. To learn how to calculate your pet's caloric intake and nutrient requirements, watch these videos. 